Island Newcastle sits alone watching YouTube videos on his computer when suddenly he hears an all too familiar cry for help. There is no expectation of privacy in public. There's no need to fear. Hezokai is here. Today I will be using all of my magic, all of the powers bestowed upon me by the immortal Schrodinger's cat to glimpse into the future. Next week, Denver Metro Audit and Regan Benson are once again going to go to the Sheridan Town Hall meeting and redress their grievances. And I have seen the future and I'm going to show you exactly what they're going to say. <laughs> Hi, my name is Denver Metro Audits, and I'm the all-powerful, most high leader of the universe. All public servants must comply with any and all of my directives on demand or suffer the consequences. And I'm here today to tell you, do better! First, you'll remove any and all traffic laws, codes, and policies immediately, allowing chaos and disorder to reign upon all roads, transforming the streets into an absolute bloodbath. You must comply immediately. Do better. Second, you will give me and my sycophant sheeple followers dominion over all libraries and demand all library employees follow my commands with a simple yes, sir, and no more. Because... You guys always like to tell me what you want me to do. You want me to do this. You want me to do that. Well, guess what? I want everyone I see to give me a $5 bill, but that's never going to happen, is it? It's do better, man. Third, all people who have the audacity to try and care for their families by working a job, taking responsibility for their own actions, paying their bills, and staying out of prison must sign a sworn affidavit that they are a bootlicker and place it at my feet while I spit in their face and laugh. In other words, do better, man. And finally, anyone who shows any sign of human emotion, common decency, basic respect, kindness, goodness, love, or empathy must cease and desist immediately. Just do better, man. Hi, I'm Reagan Benson, and I'm back. I know you hired actors to say they hate me last meeting, talking about the last time I was here. But I know they were fake because everyone loves me. Because the way I speak, everyone knows I am well-spoken and well-educated and should be taken serious. So being a serious activist, you nasty, sucking, kissing, extortion, nitwit, halfwit, stupid, corrupt cops, arrested my friends, you Lousy, no good, liars, moronic, licking, homeless people, brain dead. Servants, bow down before me. Thank you, thank you, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. That was a wonderful, wonderful bit by my voodoo dolls. And now this next number is called Broken System, Broken Trust on Hand Bananas live stream. Tells it like it really is and confirms everything we've been saying this whole time. Enjoy. When I, when I started, my goal was to be like, you know, the polite, respectful, um, you know, guy out there doing it for the right reasons. And then I realized that that does nothing to compel these guys to act any different. So now my focus, for example, has, has changed. Now I view it as like my job to shame them into quitting the job because it's such a disgraceful, it's become such a disgraceful uh, profession. 
I've always known it. I knew it the whole time. They do it intentionally on purpose. And did you catch what he said about how when I first started, I tried to be nice and polite, but doing that doesn't compel them to be to act that way? Oh, man, this guy. Anyway, uh, we already knew. So here and that is nothing new. We already knew. And that is something that we didn't know. And now we're going to we'll go on with the show. <laughs> you guys remember this idiot? This is Flex Your Freedoms, dressed up as his character, Granny. Now, I thought I should know by now. I should not be surprised by anything from a frauditor. But these guys keep surprising me with their stupidity. It's it's kind of amazing how they're able to escalate the stupid every time. It's just, I don't even know what else to say. Just look at this, man. Look at it. He's a dangerous animal. He's loose out here. That horse is loose out here. Well, I think they're worried because my little pony might have some magical powers, you know? Afraid of my little pony. They're afraid of my little pony, guys. They're freaking out. It's just a little pony out here. Oh, please. Get back. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, and now I'd like to talk about the real stars of this video, the Frauditor Voodoo Dolls, handmade, custom by a fan of mine named Salacious. We got the pins to stick them with. We got the soap, the taser, the gavel. We got the missing teeth, all crooked and yellow and nasty. We got the, uh, the fake press pass for News Now Moron. They're tiny black little hearts. All the details on these things are amazing. We got the torture cuffs. All of that plastic is handmade by her son, Mason. Look at this gimbal with the phone on it. Filming well, the police, their shoes are untied because they're too stupid to know how to tie their own shoes. These things are awesome. Like I said, they're handmade by a fan. Look at the detail on that phone. You can see the little camera lens is in the back there. Um, and that was made with a 3D printer by her son. And these things are fantastic. Um, these are the dolls that I used in the video. Um, this, this one right here is the one I used for Rig and Benson in the video. And this one, ladies and gentlemen, could be yours. This very doll that's in my hand right now could be yours all through the month of February. I'm doing a contest. Anyone who is in any way, you know, gives any kind of donation to the channel, whether it be a super chat or a donation for any amount is automatically entered and in, in, the first week of March, I'll go ahead and pick a name, a random name, and whoever I pick is going to get that specific doll, and it'll be yours to keep. Thank you.